Hi, I'm Dr. Murphy Maston, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. So melanoma is a skin cancer, and I think that there's some question as to what makes it different. Ultimately, I mean, a melanoma is derived from the color-producing uh, cells of the skin called melanocytes, and they unfortunately become aberrant and become cancerous, and that's what ultimately leads to melanoma. Uh, the more commonly known skin cancers would be squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma and these are different cells within the skin uh, that have become cancerous. You can have melanoma develop anywhere. Sometimes it's in sites that have never seen the sun, but about 90% of melanomas and skin cancers in general are related to sun exposure. What we're primarily looking for whenever we do a skin check is to make sure that moles that were prior there uh, have not developed melanoma. That's about 20 to 30 percent of cases of melanoma, but more commonly it's in sites where a mole never existed where melanoma will develop about 70 80 percent of the time when we find a melanoma. UV radiation from the sun is the primary culprit I would say once again around 90 percent of melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer squamous cell carcinomas and basal cell carcinomas are related to sun exposure and lack of adequate sun protection, um, but also a genetic component and possibly environmental factors. It's so important to find melanoma early. Uh, with early detection, the five-year survival rate for melanoma is 99%, uh, compared to if somebody had a biopsy and had to wait greater than 30 days uh, after that biopsy of a melanoma, they're at an increased risk of, of melanoma-related death by about 5%. If that was expanded even further out to four months past biopsy, that goes all the way up to 41%. Increased risk of death from melanoma. So there's a common acronym called the ABCDNE of melanoma uh, that's taught by the American Academy of Dermatology and the National Skin Cancer Foundation. A stands for asymmetry. You want both sides of that melanoma to be mirror images of the other each side should look the same. Uh, B is border, and that would be that we want smooth, regular borders. Irregular borders like a puzzle piece or a jigsaw piece uh, are a little bit more concerning. Uh, color, we want similar color amongst the moles in groups, but also when we look at a single mole, we want that color to be the same throughout. And just in general, anything with color, loss of color, gain of color, multiple colors, are things that you should bring to the attention of your uh, physician or provider. D is diameter, and that would be that we want lesions to be less than a pencil eraser width and diameter, so six millimeters is what the cutoff that we usually look for, but I've seen melanomas be smaller than that, and I've seen them be much larger. And then evolution is E, meaning change, and that's something that I really rely on the patient to inform me of if there's been change to moles. Now, ultimately, we can still develop new moles throughout our life, and more so at 30 to 40 years of age, you could still develop new moles, but past that point, um, definitely should be reported if you find that you're developing any new colored lesions. I think it was an interesting fact that one in 27 uh, white males will develop melanoma in their life. It is more common in males. It's about a one in 40 person chance that a female that's white will develop melanoma. So not an uncommon thing and as stated, early detection is key on how somebody will do. In darker skin populations, um, it's more common that melanoma involved the hands and the feet, the palms and the soles, uh, or other um, atypical areas. Um, skin surveillance for melanoma is difficult, and that's why I encourage you to see somebody that is trained in the detection and the evaluation of uh, skin cancers. Um, also, if you were to be found to have a skin cancer, uh, knowing the next steps to take is vitally important as well, and that is something that a dermatologist is trained in to get you to the correct area uh, for the right treatment. I think that it's important to know as well that while we talk about melanoma, um, twice the number of patients per year die from squamous cell carcinoma and non-melanoma skin cancer. That's about 15,000 people per year in the U.S. And one in five people in their life will be diagnosed with skin cancer, primarily squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma. And I think the key things to watch for in those areas would be lesions that are new or changing in size, shape, or color things that hurt, itch or bleed, or wounds that don't heal, or anything that you're concerned about would be something to bring up to your primary care physician or your uh, provider. I would encourage anybody with skin care concerns to reach out to us at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. We're
trained and capable of handling complex medical dermatology, including rashes. We specialize in skin cancer, uh, screenings and evaluations and management. If you have any concerns, you can contact us as stated at 417-328-4500, or you can reach out to your local primary provider or physician for a referral.